All right, so I want to bring up three star director Yvette Green. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Work the bird. Yes. Well, listen, I, I'm in my office. See, my office is Panera Bread, right? Every now and again, I got to get away from the house and come to my private office. So if you hear noise in the background, it's because I gave them permission they can use my office too, right? Other people are using parts of my office. So definitely, thank you so very much. I want to first of all say thank you because you allowed me to really plug in. And I know your team was wondering, why is Director Rain on here? How oh, did she show up, right? Well, I was getting nuggets. I was, I believe in staying humble, staying green and humble, right? And like you said, I am shop the time. So I want to um, just kind of chat, want to get your permission to chat with your sideline partner to see what is it? What is it that keeps you coming back? Right, and um, and find out what make sure I'm giving good content when I start doing it for myself because I do I feel it like, I feel the disconnect like I'm not talking with them enough and here you're doing it 12 noon every day Monday through Friday so that is what you call some serious dedication and leadership so I'm always looking to improve my leadership so thank you again Director Burke you're just a sweetheart I've loved you from day one and uh, we're, we're called the Dimple Sisters. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> we see each other. <laughs> so, um, Director Burke, I heard a little bit about why you did it, and it just makes sense, right, to stay connected with your team. Um, so, I want to start with you. Of course, this is not your entire team here, but did you just kind of put it out there? Who's interested, and in that's who jumped on, or did you kind of say you need to get on this to give you that extra up? But let me start with you first. Yeah, so initially I just kind of created the flyer because I didn't know who was working from home um, mm -hmm. or who was just at home not working, you know, with COVID. Some okay. people were able to work from home, some people weren't. So I just kind of put it out there uh, for whoever was available, you know, jump on with us. And, and when, we, when we started, it was just uh, Monday through Thursday was kind of coffee break. I didn't have, a, you know, any type of agenda. I didn't know what it was gonna, going to look like. And then Friday, we did bingo, right? Because I wanted to also have fun. So I found a way for us to do bingo and give out prizes and things like that. Um, so, but then it became, people started, I would just ask questions, you know, and say, okay, who, you know, who has any obstacles or challenges in their business? And literally based on the feedback from the group, that would de kind of determine what the topic was. So that's always going to be great content because typically if one person is struggling in an area, there's chances are someone else is struggling in the same area. And then I would also ask other people to say, okay, well, what are your thoughts on this? And so that created a safe place for people to give their opinions, their ideas. Sometimes I got content from just doing one-on-one -on -one coachings with different people because I found that I was a lot of times repeating the same thing with other people. Or I was like, huh, I bet you there's probably other people who are struggling with this too. And then I would create a training based on the feedback I was getting from my one-on-ones or uh, Michelle could tell you there's times that she might come over and we start talking about something I'm like oh that's a good topic for coffee break and then I put it on my whiteboard that you know there's there's a topic for that um, so that that's how it, it got started and like I said it just kind of grew from there then I got the idea to because I was also working on my YouTube channel I said you know what you know uh, one day a week I will do a topic um, that's more general, not necessarily just, you know, for Planet Marketing reps, but, you know, it's part of my branding as a business coach, especially in the industry of network marketing. And so I asked the team if, if they were okay with one day a week that we record it and then I can upload it to my YouTube channel. So everybody knew that, you know, on this certain day of the week, we would be recording virtual coffee break and, and the information would go up on the YouTube channel. Um, but other than that, I don't record coffee break on a regular basis because sometimes there's a topic that comes up that's very personal. 
I mean, tears, right? How many times have we cried on coffee? Who's ever cried on coffee break before, right? There'll be tears because someone might be going through something more on a personal level with, let's say, their family or their children, but it affects their business. And so having that, this community of especially women who can relate and pour into you know, whoever's going through what, sometimes that's the whole subject is, is that person's issue. But when they leave at the end of coffee break, they're feeling amazing, you know, and they feel that sense of support that they're not going through these challenges by themselves. You're on mute. Is the background okay? Is it too noisy in here? It's a little noisy, yeah. Okay, hopefully it won't get you noisy. So um, I cannot see who all is on. So if you will, who, who do you want to go first? All right, yeah. So I'll call on each of each person um, so that you each have the opportunity to share with Director Green, why do you continue to show up for Coffee Break? So I'm going to start with Shamika. Okay. Hi, Shamika. Hi, Yvette. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing amazing. How are you? I am great. Thank you so much. Listen, <laughs> you're one of the ones that I'm always seeing showing up with a smiley face. Tell me, what is it about coffee break that makes you show up day in and day out? Oh, man, I'm going to try to keep it short. Um, but <laughs> the reason why I continue to show up to coffee break is because not only, um, not only do I get what I need in my business, but I get what I need for life as well. Like this is a family to me. Um, I don't. I don't feel right if I don't come on virtual coffee break. So, um, like she was saying, iron sharpens iron. You get to hear from other business partners who may be going through the same things you're going through, um, and it's just being connected with like-minded individuals who could relate to you. Um, and I, I get. I get everything I need out of this group. Um, and we formed a sisterhood, a, a bond, a family. Um, like she said, I, I done lost a whole job while I was on here. Um, and when I was working, I made sure that even if it was for 10 or 15 minutes, I always came on virtual coffee break. Um, we talk about a lot of things in business that is just great, awesome. It may be something that I needed to hear that day. Um, and we talk about things in life, right? Um, I've definitely shared some tears on here. Uh, motivation uh, definitely gives me a lot of motivation um, in this group from these lovely ladies and men sometimes when we get them on here. Uh, but that's why I continue to show up because I don't know, it's just, it's a lot. <laughs> but this, this virtual coffee break is just a safe space um, for us to talk about business, life, travel, um, whatever it is. Um, and so we might have a question that day. I know I can come to Tanisha. I can come to any of these ladies on here and they're going to give me the answer. And most times, you know, while I have those questions, or I might be dealing, through, dealing with some things. Somebody else might have that same question or they might be going through some things. And to know that I can come on here and ask the questions and get the motivation, get the inspiration, I can cry. And, and for my sister to be like, okay, you done crying? You good? You shed your tears? Okay, now let's go back and get this money and let's do it. So that that's why I continue to show up um, to virtual okay. coffee break. Okay, great information. Now, my other question is, I know one of the questions that I've heard Director Burke ask you guys, first thing she'll say, what did you do to grow your business today? Just knowing that she's gonna ask that question, do you have like an outline that you check off and be sure you're ready for that question? She may not ask it every day, but when she does ask it, you guys are always on point and ready to say, I did a travel party this weekend, I did this. Do you have like a, a check off list that you do every day so that if she asks the question, not only are you ready, but you're actually doing it? So yes, I do have a, a DMO. I have a daily method of operations. And so I know Tanisha, most times she's going to ask us that on Mondays. <laughs> so I got to make sure I did some on Sunday. But to, um, to for those times where I may have not did nothing. So I'll be transparent. I can be transparent in here and say, look, sis, I ain't do nothing. I just relaxed. I was tired. And, you know, and it's okay. She'll be like, okay, we'll take a day to rest. Now it's time for you to do what you said you was going to do. So that's another thing. This virtual coffee break, it holds me accountable. 
um, for my daily method of operations, for me being this businesswoman, this mom. Um, and so that's, so when she asked that question, either I did something or I didn't, but to know that I could still, you know, say that I did nothing and own that and be transparent and, you know, not to get bashed or anything for it, but she'd be like, okay, well, you told me you want, you was going to be gold builder by last week, you know, you didn't do that. So, you know, you need to just get back to it. And so um, I definitely stick to that daily method of operations, but if I didn't do nothing, I'd be transparent and say I did. <laughs> okay. Okay. And one last question. You mentioned the daily method of operation. So it's just doing the same thing, the same mundane thing every day. You don't change and you, you have that check off list. So that helps you also to stay on track, to know what you're going to do every day and then be accountable for it is what I'm hearing you say, correct? Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You are. All right. Who's, who's next, Tanisha? I'm going to jump to the chat because there's some people who um, can't speak because of where they are, and I'm just going to kind of read why they said uh, they joined Coffee Break. So um, Rochelle said she can't talk, but she joined Coffee Break because she sees the value that could help her in her business and growing. Um, uh, let me see. Barbara said she continues to come on as much as possible um, because she is continuously learning. She said, I take away something each time I'm on. Although it's uncomfortable, I'm often forced to step out of my comfort zone. I feel like a part of my day is missing if I'm not able to get on. Uh, and that's it so far. So if any of you are in a place where you can't talk and you want to share, just type it in the chat of, again, why do you continue to show up for Coffee Break? Um, so the next one will go to Tanya. Hey. Hi, Tanya. Hey, Yvette. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Yvette is actually family, Tanisha. <laughs> so yeah. Yvette is married to my, to my best friend's um, husband. Uh, Yvette's husband is my best friend's brother. That's what oh, I should have said. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. 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 They, were actually, we they were actually up this weekend, Yvette. Oh, were they? Okay. Well, thank you so much, Tanya. And again, why do you show up every day for a coffee break? And um, what, to be totally doesn't trans have to have that structure. Yes, this this is this is the best structure in the world. To to uh, take you back, probably about three and a half years ago, I was grinding my business, but somewhat lost and not focused in what I was doing. And Coffee Break actually put me on the right track. We, we share stories. Um, we learn a lot. Um, it's, it's an emotional roller coaster sometimes, this business is. And without Coffee Break, I don't know where I would be. And that's the honest to God's truth. Okay. Now, do you also have the same daily method of operation? Or do you change up? Or do you just keep doing the same things over and over again, no matter? how you feel that day. Yes, I have a daily method of operations, although I fell off of it because I went back to work and I had been out on disability um, for the past year. And I went back to work and I've fallen off somewhat because usually my daily method of operation is I wake up in the morning, I do a good morning, happy Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever the day of the week is. I post that to my team on my Facebook chat, then I do my birthday messages, and then I start prospecting. But I haven't been able to do that because I went back to work. So I need to get a new daily method of operation. I have a sheet that um, I use, and I am actually going to reformat that sheet so that it actually flows. And um, what, what's your biggest takeaway from being on the coffee break. Well, my, I know my you said if you, when you weren't on it, 
did you feel like your business was kind of falling off or did you feel like you were just getting disconnected your motivation was not as strong when you didn't jump on the coffee, coffee break road? coffee break is like the morning imv if you miss the morning imv and you don't catch the morning imv you're lost coffee break if i miss coffee break I'm lost for the day. If I miss it for the week, forget it, forget about it. My my business is trash. Oh, that's powerful. This is trash. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you as a business partner, gleaning from the leadership of Director Bird, what keeps you? Is it the unknown what the topic is going to be, or knowing that when you jump on whatever you need for yourself, you know it's going to be answered there, or it's just the unknown? Do you like the unknown, not knowing what the topic is going to be from day to day, but you know it's going to be something that you're going to get out of it? Is that another reason why you keep coming? I keep coming back to coffee break because no matter what the topic is, no matter what we may have done wrong in our business, we can always bring it to Director Burke and she's going to keep it real with us. I mean, she's going to spank our butts, but then she's actually going to actually give us that coaching that we need. That's why I keep coming back to coffee break. Thank you so much, Tanya. I appreciate that. That's You're great welcome. information. Okay, you All take right. care. Oh, All right, you too. Good to see you. All right, so next, let's go to Michelle. Hello, the director Green. How are you? I am good. How are you? Good. <laughs> so tell me, what, what 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 drives you to come on Coffee Break every day? I'm always seeing you on Coffee Break. What you know, I think I think I'm gonna be saying something similar to what others have said. It's just once you have joined Coffee Break and understand the detailed coaching that you're receiving as well as the collaboration that's occurring within this group it is just something that draws you back from day to day um, i know my business has flourished tremendously since i have joined coffee break you know because of the consistency um, because of the obvious focus on care and everyone helping each other out so I've always loved this tone of women empowering women. And yes, we do have men on here periodically, <laughs> but I feel like that's exactly what's happening here. And so at any given time, you know, we know that we can reach out to Tanisha or we can reach out to each other and we're going to get help with whatever, whatever's occurring. And I feel like it's really getting me to that level of where my initial hurdle was with coming from corporate America and management to now leadership within a business. So whether you are a first time business owner or you are a seasoned one, everyone walks away with some really great information on how to really build their businesses properly. Okay. And if you had to give an advice to a leader that's wanting to pour into their business partners, like how Tanisha is, I think you said detailed coaching you, what would you say to that leader that will keep someone like you again wanting to come back? Well, you know, did, did my question make sense? It did definitely okay. because it is def it is most definitely that consistency and that transparency. We all know that Tanisha is going to give it to us straight, and you know she has a style or a, I want to say that inner strength or the inner tone that she can interact with in my opinion she can interact with anyone and immediately be able to share things you need to focus on focus on it then so and very um she delivers it plain and clear i mean there's no it's not going to be any foo-foo along with it it's going to be straight into the point and sometimes you do take a step back and what with a wow but it makes you it, it makes you it makes you snap to attention because i think in some instances we are you know what we were saying maybe excuses or, or what we may not even think is going to be excuses but when you have that consistency and you build that relationship with the leader you are much more apt to really put yourself out there which is why i know a number of people are re referencing the roller coaster of emotions and things like that that you know, people put that vul vulnerabilities out there because they are serious about their business so when you have a coach or a leader that can draw that out of you 
those are the things that's really going to make people reappear and want to come back. Good deal. Great information. Great information. Thank you so much. And you have your DMO that you follow and being on this call makes you accountable to follow that DMO, no matter how you're feeling, because you know, you just not only just to grow your business, but you just might get asked that day, what are you doing to move your business? Absolutely. And, I, and I'll be the first to say that I struggled with understanding what a DMO was, what really needed to happen from day to day until I started working with Tanisha and doing the coffee break. So yes, I do have my DMO. I, I, you know, from time to time, I do have to adjust it according to you know, how my business is evolving. And it, it, it's not only helping me with keeping that DMO in place or adjusting it the way it needs to adjust, but now helping my, other, my team members do the exact same thing. Thank you so much. That was great information. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, Hazel said that she continues to come to Coffee Break because it keeps her tethered to the business. So next we're going to go to Stephanie and then we'll go to Felicia after Stephanie. Hello, nice to meet you back. I'm Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Great right meeting you as well. <laughs> oh, we are a new member of the company. Coffee Break keeps me focused. It helps me to learn from my mistakes and be able to um, gather things from each of the other members and new people as well as the season um, agents. So it, it keeps me on track. You know, I'm, I'm in the process of learning how to keep my DMO in order and coming here because I do have another job it keeps me back on track or anything on track and there's always something I can get from someone else to help me with the challenges that I'm going through and like the others have said you know it's very in intimate it's um the camaraderie is great you know we learn from each other um there's no um criticism it makes you feel like um you're in the business not by yourself, you know, that there's always gonna be somebody. Um, Director Burke is, is wonderful with her leadership skills and how she keeps us focused and on track to do. But when we can reach out to other people in the case that she may not be available, it gives you a sense of security knowing that you do have a sisterhood that you can rely on who's also going through the same path. So whether you're new or you've been here for a while, coffee break gets you right where you need to be on Day basis, and I do appreciate that. Wow, I heard you say it's very intimate sisterhood and that leadership. Awesome, and it's helping you to stay on track with your BMI. Okay, all right. Now, before coming on the coffee break, are you do you feel like you need to have your BMO completed before coming on coffee break or did you guys come on coffee break first and, and figure out where the DMO is and how to go through it to get it done and now you know to do it come on coffee break with it, whatever you're struggling with is that what I'm understanding well, with me that would be the case I would come on to find out what the DMO needs to be and it gives me that accountability structure so I know the rest of the week this is what I need to focus on it so you know when I get caught up in other things and I'm not um, organized the way I need to be just by coming on coffee break, it gives me that push to say, okay, this is what I need to focus on, and this is where I'm going to govern the rest of my day. Yeah, so it definitely keeps me alive. Okay, okay. So if something, if life, if life is going to continue to happen, would you say you attribute it to coffee break that you won't hear abandon your business? You may step away for a second, but you will never quit your business. Would you attribute that to this sisterhood and this intimacy no, that keeps you wanting to be a part of this? Yep, absolutely. There's always going to be something that's going to be said that's going to make you just go that extra mile that keep on, keep on going. So, yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It was great meeting you. You too. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Who's that? This is so and good. Was, oh my God. It is. It is. And I'm enjoying hearing the feedback. Next, we're going to go to Felicia. Thank you, Felicia, for stepping me off. No problem at all. So, um, for me, Director Green, um, I was in you know, my first year of network marketing. So, what, what kept me coming back was getting all the missing pieces. 
So between the trainings and getting on coffee break, uh, I mean, between uh, director work and the ladies, like I was getting so many missing pieces that I was missing instead of me spinning my wheels. So it was like priceless information that I couldn't get anywhere else. Plus, like the other, the other lady said, the coaching, the support, just the camaraderie that we have here. But also, um, you know, she keeps us accountable when it comes to what we're supposed to be doing in our business. And she inspires you to be a, a uh, I can't say a better team leader, but to try to, um, I don't know how to say it. She, like the way she does her team, the way she interacts with her team and the information she provides her team, that's what I want to be for my team. And so that keeps me coming back um, just because, I mean, I just want to follow the one voice that was following Mr. Moore and following Mr. Bradley. And for me, that was Director Burke. So I continue to plug into Coffee Break and it's been like a tremendous help. Okay. Uh, great information. So what I hear you say is uh, to get the message and the missing pieces. And so it makes you feel connected. So Felicia, let me ask you this question. I know not every day, and this is your first year of network marketing, you know, folks are not going to join your business every day. I call that in the valley. The days when you feel like you're in the valley, that's when you you push even more. Do you feel like you get that desire to want to push even more? Because the mountaintop is when people join your business. But you got to spend some time in the valley, right? And valley meaning... Valley meaning doing that D, that DMO every day. What keeps you focused to know, you know what? I gotta keep doing it, someone will eventually come. Would you say coming here and getting that energy from your sisters allow you to keep pushing so you're not questioning, do I need to change my tactic or do I need to stay on course until success? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, they keep you connected, but they but you also realize how simple it is if you follow the system. Being with the being on here and being with these ladies because as a first year network marketer, you're kind of like a fish out of the water and you don't really know what you're doing. And so, uh, you know, coming here and hearing it over and over and over, now it's kind of it's becoming part of me. And it's and I over I I just oversaw it. I mean, I was thinking way too much about it. So being here streamlined the, the process when it came to um, being successful in the business. So if I'm hearing you correctly, you're not taking the nose as personal anymore. Because you'll come here and see Absolutely. everybody else who's getting nose as well. But they continue to Absolutely. Do. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and you don't feel, you don't, like you said, you're not attached anymore. And you know what, how to ask and you know how to respond. And it, it, it becomes so simple by conti continually plugging into this group. Thank you so much again. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for being patient. I'm sorry, I'm at the coffee shop, but I had to take my car to the shop and I had to get to a close internet. So that's why I'm here versus at home when it's quiet. But Felicia, thank you so very much. And one last question um, for the doubters. If you were a doubter, do you feel like coffee break is what keeps you from wanting to throw in the towel? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. so I've gotten there where, because absolutely, because you, you feel like you're the only one. And when you start plugging in, you realize you're not on the island, that others are going through the same thing. So you're able to feed off of that energy and you pick yourself up and you keep going. Beautiful. Thank you, Felicia. Thank, Thank you. you for stepping no out. Problem. I appreciate it. You guys are so committed. No problem. Oh Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's go over to Stormy Gordon out of St. Croix. Hi, Stormy. How are you? Hi. Good afternoon, Director. It's a pleasure. How are you? The pleasure is all mine. Thank you so very much. I was on a call last week when you were just when you were talking about. Um, when you charge your service, so you were just, you were determined. This is what I'm doing, and this is how I'm doing it. Take it or leave it. This is who I am. So I know I've experienced the strength in who you are. So tell me, why do you show up for Coffee Break every day? You, you feel like you're, you're able to do the feeding and get fed as well? What's your takeaway from the Coffee Break? My takeaway from the Coffee Break is that I get fed very well. 
um, extremely well from this amazing team. Um, but what I give is because they make coffee break makes you feel comfortable with sharing with what you want to give and feel good, even if it isn't welcomed. And what I mean by that is they hold each other so accountable that they don't agree so to spare your feelings, but they empower you and explain why they don't think something you're doing is working as opposed to saying is, that's not how we do it. So what I like about um, Director Burke's coffee break is they make, they allow you to feel comfortable enough with sharing what you like about your business and how you're doing it. But if there's something that's not quite right, they don't get on air and say, oh, that's not the duplicatable way. They don't ram that like my way or the highway. They say, well, listen. And when they, you know, it's like um, going into that one family house that, you know, when you go in, you could say what you want to say and not get bashed for, not that um, do as I say, you know, kind of attitude. So I love how uh, Coffee Break lets us all empower, share, listen, and hold each other accountable without leaving with an attitude or never wanting to come back. Does that make sense? Definitely, definitely. That is good. That is good. It's, it's a no judgment zone. And, yes. and you don't feel silly for asking a question or feel challenged. Correct. Okay, okay. And so I know you do a lot of booking. And so do you feel like you also get fed as far as the travel is concerned? And um, it's another main reason and you're able to help others? because you're so strong in booking, that's what I get the sense from you, Sonia, is that you're very strong in booking. Actually, you know, I, I, I'm kind of shocked that you're saying that, Director, because I'm probably the weakest link <laughs> when it comes to booking. Um, I'm not as, you know, see, one of the things that Director Burke did for me when I uh, actually flew from St. Croix and went to her home in Florida and did my one-on-one -on -one was she empowered me to feel strong with doing with what I was comfortable with doing. So the bookings that I do are sporadic in the meantime, in between time. I'm a builder. That's my heart and passion. But in order to be a good builder, that means you have to be well-rounded so that you could help the parts of your team who want to build but be better agents or advisors. And that was the one thing that Director Burke, uh, with uh, her being my coach, showed me and what on coffee break, when they break it down, and they don't cram one thing or another down your throat. She says, okay, what's going on in everybody's life? Somebody asked the question that maybe nobody else wanted to ask, but we, we were all thinking and we learn. And that's what makes coffee break so wonderful. It's not the travel break. It's not the planet break. It's coffee break. It's like your um, back in the States, you know, what, what they call the water cooler talk. It's what everybody goes away to talk about, knowing that they can talk about what's on their mind and not be judged for it. So actually, ma'am, I am not a strong booker. I have strong bookers in my downline. And in order for me to be a good leader for them, I had to posture up and that's what coffee break has shown me is don't bring people in and not know how to take care of your children. Wow. That's powerful. Okay. Okay. And like I said, it could be because of the last time 
I was on, you were very passionate about, you know, what you charged. So I stand corrected. But that was only because, (laughs) director, pardon me, that was because that was the conversation for that day. (laughs) Okay, well, thank you so much. And if you had to tell anyone um, why they want to be a part of the coffee break, let's say you brought in a new business partner. And by the way, when you bring in new business partners, do you invite them to coffee break or you just come get the information and then take it back to them? Is this pretty much a close knit? Okay, well, you know, all right, Don. Well, I will tell you, um, I'm I'm certain, you know, Director Burke never has any issues with saying, but I am not in Director Burke's downline at all. Um, I was her, I was her stalker. And I stalked her for over a year. Um, You know, let me be transparent because it's not a secret. I am, my director is Director Tonda Ciswe Rome. I am in Frederick White's leg. Uh, But the way when I was growing, I was running into hurdles. It happens. And the way I explained it when I reached out to Director Burke was, you know, I'm a Pitt graduate, but my daughters have all graduated from different colleges. I remind them that Pitt paid for the education, but they had to choose what was going to be best for their growth. So they all went to different alma maters. And so when I reached out to Director Burke, honestly, it was because I I was just at a hurdle and I really needed what I saw she was doing, I thought was possibly what I needed. I didn't know, but I, you know, when you go past the candy store and you see something and you keep walking past that candy store and you're like, listen, eventually I'm just going to go in and try it. I got in touch with Director Burke and I said, listen, I'm, I'm stumped, I'm stuck, but I feel I can grow. Are you willing to coach me? And she said, yes. So that's one of the, one of the basic reasons that I came on to Coffee Group was because it was people over profit. And that's what I represent with my downline, people over profit. I'm here because one man decided he didn't care where you were from on this continental globe, said that everyone deserves. So me in my deserving mode, I sought out uh, what I felt I needed and Director Burks was it. And that was by just looking at her YouTubes and getting on and listening to her posture and the things that she did. And so, you know, I want to say to you, director, I applaud you. You are yet another reason why today is going to be an amazing day for me, because you yourself reaching out to Director Burke have put people over profit. You said, I want to know what's going to help people in general, whether it's your team or not. Your team's going to be talking to people that don't know nothing about this business, right? We all come in, don't know nothing. So I applaud you. And for the very reason that you're plugged in today, is why I'm still here and with Director Burks today. And I plug into Coffee Break unless <laughs> I'm doing what I need to do for my business, which may be three ways or peaking or whatever. So, um, yeah, I hope that helps you. It does. It does. And thank you. Thank you so very much for your transparency. And that's the amazing part about this business. It doesn't matter who brought you in. It's where you go where you're fed. And if that's but what you're always, fed, I'll always give my upline respect. You know, it starts somewhere, right? Of course. Of course. Okay. Thank you, but ma'am. What but what I'm go hearing ahead. you say is that you're very unapologetic about the decision that you made because it is people for profit. It's not about ego and it's not about who brought you in, but it's people for profit. But that doesn't mean you have to be disrespectful. 
to get it done. So, Absolutely, ma'am. And you probably more than anyone else possibly on here right now know what this shirt is, right? I sure do. I do. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I do. I'll be, I'm going to be in Atlanta tomorrow. Oh, okay. All right. I'm Again. coming in from St. Croix to Atlanta tomorrow. So, yes. Tomorrow, Thursday. Okay. All right. Well, thank you Coffee so Coffee break much. is I great. I appreciate and I, it. And Michelle Proctor down there, that's my girl. We met, at, <laughs> we met in person at convention. We sat together as a united team. And we fed each other. And that's what it's all about. Definitely. That's, that's, that's everyone winning. Awesome. Thank you so very much, Stormy. All right. Who, who do we have next? I know you're about two more minutes before you're having no, to we good. No, we're good. We're good. We got good. We got plenty of time. If anybody needs to leave um, and you want to share, go ahead and, and uh, say something in the chat and I can make you next if you want to share, but you need to hurry up and leave. Uh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Miss Henry. Well, I did share. I put it in the chat. I was just letting you know that I was leaving. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, what I said, what, what keeps me coming back, each time I show up, I learn a wealth of knowledge. When I don't show up, I'm lost. Um, it's hard for me to join all the time because of work, um, but I'm thankful for the ladies that have actually shared some information, and um, I got to go now. <laughs> all right. All right. No problem. Right. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing. Um, Rhonda said, uh, good afternoon. I'm at the hospital with my son. He's having surgery. Today is my second day in coffee break. And after the information I received yesterday, um, it met her where she was in her business. She said, this is what I need daily. If it's available, I will be here no matter where I am. I have great leaders on my team, but unfortunately, following them causes me to be all over the place. So to find coffee break and get what I need was a blessing and I am grateful to meet others in the business. So that's good, that's good. Okay, let's go to Miss Vanetta. Um, so I definitely agree with Stormy, like the empowerment. Um, I'm truly grateful for like all of the knowledge that they have shared, just giving us tips on like where to market, how to market, um, other stuff like travel joy, tra different training, uh, just useful information on duplication, uh, allowing us to share ideas and kind of bounce them off of each other, not being judgmental if we're not 100% correct, but kind of steering us in the right direction um so pretty much that's why i'm here every day okay and since you've joined coffee break um your business as far as your building is concerned and the folks that you're bringing on has it helped you to build even more and stay consistent and is it helping you as far as what you're feeding your team I believe that it's helping me to grow um, and build. It's also helped me to get over a lot of my fears of like approaching people and presenting the business opportunity. So I think that's been really helpful with coming on Coffee Break. Okay, you said it helped you with approaching people. Is it because you actually get it, you're actually getting the script on what to say? Of course, we don't sound scripted, mind you. But is it helping you to approach you because now you know what to say? Or is it because you're doing role plays on coffee break? How, how did it help you? Um, with your I would say definitely the scripts because there is the um, the one that, sh that Tanisha has on YouTube that I watched um, shortly after I started joining coffee break. And that was really helpful on giving you a way to approach people and what language to use. Awesome. Thank you so very much. So if you had to give advice to a leader that's feeding you and, you know, getting you to want to plug in all the time, what would that advice be to that leader from a partner who's wanting, who's hungry and wanting to be there? 
I would tell them that if they are kind of lost in their business and don't know which way to go, that coffee break is really helpful in pointing you in the in the right direction, leading you to feel more confident in expressing yourself and trying to build your business. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was good information. I see. I heard what you said. It helped you with your approaching and the scripts also help you with your confidence to be able to, you know, feel good about approaching with others. So thank you so very much for that takeaway. All right, Ms. Burke. All right, let's go to Luanda Bond. Hi, Luanda. Hey, hey. hey how y'all doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So for me, I'm Director Green. I am three weeks into this. So I was hung. I've been hungry since I started. Like that Sunday that um, the business was introduced to me, I was just hungry. And I'm like, Lord, you know, I want to do this, but I don't have any knowledge of this. So where do I start? And so when I was presented with the virtual coffee break, I didn't know what it was going to be, you know, everything that's going to be entailed into this. But as I kept coming on every day, every day, I said, okay, I do need this. I do need this to be a part of me. And so I actually learned from each and every one of them. I'm learning from everybody that's up here on how to do this business, just how to do it, and how to do it effectively. Okay, good information now. With you being new, have you ever done network marketing before? before no, ma'am. Okay. No, so ma'am. What would you, so what would you say the main thing that helped you feel comfortable being new that you got from the coffee break? Was it the DMO? Was it the, you know, the, the communication? What was it that put you in that confidence to say, this is what I need? Okay, so for me, um, the DMO, I only learned about that until I learned about that yesterday. And I seen where um, Shamika had posted it to um, the Facebook group. And I was like, hmm, this is something that I could utilize. So I started looking at it. I said, okay, this is something that, that I can actually implement to get the job done. So for me, um, just hearing everyone else, getting the feedback from them, also, um, just getting the feedback and the role play and the scripts and all of that stuff has helped me understand, you know, what it takes. The trainings, of course, the webinars and all of that, but just hearing everybody else, seeing what's working, what's not working for them has um, truly built up my confidence that I can get the job done. Okay. All right. Great. So now, do you ever feel like this was overwhelming having to plug into this and then plug into your calls in the evening or you feel like this is something that you definitely will make it work no matter what i'm going to make it work no matter what and for me i'm not working a full-time job i am home you know i'm a home-based mother <laughs> so i'm home i'm a, you know mom stay at home mom and so for me not having that extra responsibility to report to a job you know every day helps me a lot so and at this point, I really needed this. And so I say, you know, I'm all in. Whatever it takes to get the job done, that's what I'm going to do. Awesome. So if you were to give a leader advice, mm -hmm. let's say not, yes. not Director Burr, but another leader advice mm -hmm. on what you need from your leader as a new business owner and a new network marketer, what would you want from, what advice would you give that leader? a leader i would say listen to your people ask actually take the time just to listen to them and ask them what their needs are sometimes we can assume that they need one thing over next but it just may be this simple gathering that we have like what we have right now they everybody deal with different things from day to day so on top of us trying to run this business, we may also have, you know, outside factors going on, health and so many other things. So just take the time and just say, hey, how can I be of a better leader to you? What can I do to make everything be better for you, to make you be that successful business partner that we, you know, we want you to be? Awesome. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. 
All right, let's go to Barbara Henry. Hello, Miss Henry. How are you? Barbara, are you in a place that you can speak? I didn't see that she wasn't. Okay, we'll come back to Barbara. Let's go to Tyrese. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great. Okay, tell me, why coffee break? What does it do for you? Coffee break um, was one of those things that kind of fell in my lap. I didn't quite know how it fell in my lap. I was given some information about different webinars, not so much the background of what they were, but I just started plugging in one day. And when I came across it, I couldn't leave it. It it, it made sense to stick and stay in a sense where it helped me understand what I had. Um, for me, I'm still having the transition myself, still being in corporate America. So I'm, I guess you can say I'm almost conditioned in corporate America, but this helps me be a business owner and understand that I don't have to wait for, you know, to be told to do things. Oh, I just love it. I don't have to wait to be told to do things. Um, this is also my time of day. I work overnight, so this is actually my morning right now. You hear her? And this is the one thing that I could totally commit myself to because of the time of day that it is. So um, lately, I've been missing the team Zooms, but I know that at least here on Coffee Break, we do kind of touch on it. And I know I can go back for the replay, but I'll get it also from here. Okay, and how long have you been in the business? Um, since 2000, uh, it's been a little over a year, April of last year. I love what you said when you said it's helping you with that transition, not no, knowing that it's okay, that you're not gonna be told what to do, but just go out and do it. And so that transition is um, great information. And you feel that coming on coffee break and hearing other, the, camar the camaraderie and the conversation is what's helping you to transition. Is it that and the DMO, knowing what you have to do on a daily basis? Right. It most definitely helps. Most definitely helps. I, I, I feel incomplete when I don't show up for coffee break. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, I feel lost. And I've heard a number of people say that and I thought it was just me. But it's like an emptiness. Like my day is thrown off when I don't show up for coffee break. Okay, fine. Good to you. Good to you. Okay. Awesome. And last question. Even though you're still in corporate America, um, how do you does coffee break help you to realize you work corporate America, just so to speak? I know you work at night. But nine to five or work the business five to nine, even if they say no, being in coffee, you feel like being in coffee break again, let you see other people are going through the exact same thing and you just cannot and will not quit. Because this is a part of the process. It has, but to be honest with you and everybody else that's listening, I have been in a a funk with myself, but I don't step away I've been in a funk with myself as far as not moving my business but I keep tuning in because I'm planning to move my business like I I can't explain it I know that it's a matter of doing I know I need to do I know I should be doing but there's just something a lead foot something going on with me you know that or this just might be that clouded time for me where you know, my regrouping stage maybe. So I still stay plugged in so that once my, my switch is turned back on, I have what I need to move my business forward. And even with that, I can say, since I started with Coffee Break, I've gone silver after having gone bronze in less than 30 days. So it's it, the information is here. Everything that comes out of here is very helpful. Um, and even just meeting other people from different spectrums and everybody helps one another. Okay, that's interesting. Let, let, I said that was the last question, but I got one more. Just because you said you went from bronze to silver in 30 days, but mm -hmm. you also said that you're kind of like life happening. You're in a funk. 
if that's what you call in the phone, I need to know is that the BMO that keeps you consistent while you're dealing with life, that got you to go to the next level, right? That's, in spite of life happening. That's, uh, I can admit, a part of my funk, not staying consistent with my DMO. That is my funk. I know it is. And then, I, I mean, I can admit it. Like, I just got to get myself out of my own way. But that DMO is crucial. I came across it um, early on, didn't know what it really was, but then had it further explained to me so it, I understood it. I was executing according to it. But I think it was a matter for me where I wasn't seeing results. And then I kind of stopped. And then I'm like, oh, I have to keep doing this. I have to keep at it. But I haven't picked myself back up to keep at it. But I have it. And I saw Shamika post it yesterday. So I printed it out for myself to help get my gears rolling again. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you so very much for your transparency and knowing that we all go through something every now and again. But just to know that you have a safe haven here with the coffee yes. break that just kind of kept you going. You didn't unplug. Even though you went, you're going through, you didn't unplug because you know this too shall pass. So thank you yes. so very much for that information. You're welcome. All right, have All right. a good one. So Director <laughs> Green, that, that's everybody. And I also want to add that it's through Coffee Break too that allows me to identify uh, individuals who may need some additional one-on-one -on -one coaching, right? So I might have a conversation you know, we have coffee break during the week and I might say, uh, Tyrese, I need you to get on my calendar for a one-on-one -on -one because I need to go dive deeper with her offline, off of this line. Um, you know, we, we so it, it will help you by doing a version of your own coffee break. It'll help you also identify where everyone is in their business and then, you know, take it off a line and have that one-on-one -on -one coaching with them to give them that, that extra time that they may need but it's through here that you'll be able to identify those people thank you so very much director Berg. i'll tell you what these great feedback that i've gotten you know accountability relationships the dmo the dmo the dmo the value they're always learning the structure detailed coaching is a detailed coaching um and the consistency the focus and um, the intimacy and the sisterhood. Um, also, I mean, I'm just like taking notes, the empowerment. So definitely this has been, I, I wanna just say thank you for allowing me to listen in. I'm not saying I'm not gonna listen in anymore because every now, one thing I hope everyone understands as a leader, even while you're pouring out, you have to be poured into as well. You have to be poured into in order to pour out. And I want to make sure I'm doing things in decent and in order. Although I've been in the industry for a while, that doesn't necessarily, when they say God's grace, favor, and mercy, it's God's grace, favor, and mercy. And then you go back and realize, okay, this is a change of time. You know what I'm saying? And you have to change with the time or you're going to be left behind. And I want to give my, I want to give the folks that partner up with me directly and indirectly as much as I possibly can, right? So that they can grow and still feel a sense of, this is a safe haven. And this, this sounds like what it is. All the times I listen in, Tanisha, it's like, oh, wow. Okay. So I'm learning also how I can speak my leadership, but also how to feed the people. So thank you for allowing me to speak with the attendees and understand why they keep showing up day in and day out. So from one leader to the next, what would you say in me starting the lunch and learn that I should remember as a leader? Um, I would say, listen, you know, one, I don't remember who said it, um, but someone had mentioned just listening. You know, we always say, you know, God gave us two ears and one mouth because we should listen more than we speak. And I keep hearing repeatedly about my leadership that that's one of the things that people appreciate the most is that I really take the time to listen to what the person is saying. And I had to work on that. I used to be that person that used to constantly interrupt people when they were talking because I was just listening to talk, to respond. And I, I, I'm telling you, I had to work, work, work. I put a lot of time into just shut up 
and wait until they finish their thought so that you have a complete understanding of where they're coming from, what their understanding is, so that you can respond accordingly. But it, it did not come easy for me. That was the my biggest downfall as a leader was that I didn't listen. And so I put the time in as a leader to now listen and then that allows me to pull whatever resource that I have to help them. Sometimes it might be a book that I can refer them to that they need. Or sometimes it might be a video or a meeting or it might be another person that I can connect them to to help them in that area. But if we're constantly talking, 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 talking and not listening as a leader, then how do we, how do we really help that person with what they need without just sounding like we're just repeating what you know all the other leaders are saying? Right. I love Mr. Bradley. I love Mr. Moore. I love Mr. Scott or whatever. But honestly, you hear the same thing over and over and over again. It becomes very cliche with them. You could almost finish their sentence, sentences about what they're going to say. Coffee break, I wanted it to be different. I wanted it to be something where you don't, you're not getting this anywhere in, in Planet Marketing. You're not going to hear these topics on you know, um, basic training. You're not going to hear this stuff at convention. You're not going to hear this on the team zoom on Tuesday night, because like you said, I don't know what the topic is going to be. I let the energy of the team and what's going on in their business at the time dictate what the topic is going to be, because I don't want to be that leader. That's just talk, 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 talk. And then you leave and you still have those missing pieces of the puzzle. So that's why a lot of time when we when we come together on coffee break, I'm like, okay, who has a question? You know, what did you do this weekend? Or, you know, if it's a Thursday, I might say who was on basic training? What was your takeaway from basic training? You know, to find out who's plugging in, right? And, and we talk about things like that. So as a leader, I just, I feel listening is the secret sauce to being a great leader is listening to the people that are following your leadership so that you can give them what they need. And that's another reason why a lot of times when I'm doing the weekly meetings in Orlando and Tampa, and you know how we have training um, after the weekly meetings, my favorite way to train is Q and A. I don't, I don't want to come to the weekly meeting with a set topic of what I'm going to train on, unless it's like a new training that I just put out and I'm like, okay, let me share this with, you know, the masses. I like Q and A because I want to be able to give you whatever you need that's hindering you from moving your business forward. And the only way you're going to get that information is if you listen, ask the question and just listen, let the people dictate which way it goes. I get it, the importance of listening. And, and you're right, because you almost like can tell where they're going, but see, sometimes people just want to be heard. They want you to hear them. They don't need you to finish. They want you to hear exactly what they're going to be saying. So, um, so do you have a team meeting outside of this coffee shop or this is it? And you plug them into Mr. Moore and Mr. You know, Mr. Scott, or do you also have another team meeting yourself or this is, this is it? Great question. So I kind of, in the beginning, uh, when I started the business, you know, I was having weekly team meetings, but I felt, well, part of it was I was not, um, I was not personally developing. I wasn't into personal development when I first started in planet marketing, right? It wasn't until I grew that I realized, okay, I need to put some time into my personal development. So that's when I started reading and stuff. And it was through the readings and the plugging in that I would gain topics that I could even have a meeting about. Because listen, I come from a corporate America background. I hated meetings in corporate America. I can't stand them. I, I don't like them because I feel like people are always talking about what they should be doing instead of just actually doing it. There's just like no execution. And we already have the IMD we got to plug into. We already have the basic training. We already have the team meetings. And 
you know, honestly, I don't like plugging into meetings. I, I hate it, right? So I only will have a team meeting. If, if my team meeting is just to regurgitate what Mr. Bradley said, then why am I doing, why am I wasting my team's time? Right. If my team meeting is just to regurgitate what, you know, Mr. Moore said on his team meeting, then why am I doing it? Same thing with the chats, right? Some people, they, they get, you know, a team of six and now they want to start their own team group. And all they're doing is sharing the information from a team group that they're already in. Why? Now you're going to cause your team to not even pay attention because you're not bringing any value. So no, I do not have an additional team meeting because I feel like um, between, you know, Mr. Scott's once a month, Mr. Moore's once a week, you know, Mr. Bradley's a few times a month, they're getting that stuff. If I feel there's a need or something specific that, okay, we need to have a team meeting, then I'll call it. And when I do call the team meeting, people show up because they're like, oh, this must be good because she never calls a team meeting. So they they know it's going to be something of value and it's not just going to be me repeating something that one of the leaders had already said. I, I hate when people do that. Um, or I may just go live in our team group, which I feel is more effective because I can pin it at the top and the people who couldn't get to it when I did it live, they can always go back and watch it. And the history is already there. So I prefer if I have something that I need to, need to communicate to the masses, I'd rather communicate it in the team group um, so that everybody can access it. They can tag their business partners, you know, that sort of thing. But no, I don't have a weekly team meeting because I feel like, why? <laughs> why do, what am I going to say? What do I need to say that they haven't already heard? So coffee break is it for me. Okay, great information. Because when I have my team meeting, I'll acknowledge folks who join the business, I, I, you know, who may have accomplished cert certifications, just to give them that we appreciate you and celebrate you. Mm -hmm. You don't. So good. I'm glad you brought that up. So we've worked to create that culture in the team group. So, you know, if let's say, for example, Shamika has a new business partner who just completed her carnival certification. She'll go in a group and post, you know, shout out to so-and-so just, to, you know, who okay. just completed their carnival certification or, you know, this person just booked their first trip or this person just got their first business partner. So we do the acknowledgement. We've created a culture inside of our team group where the recognition happens, right? So, um, and, and the other thing from, just from a leadership standpoint, you know, I had to really go back. I never want to start something that I'm not willing to do forever, you know, because didn't we all join the business because we wanted time freedom? I don't want to be tied to my phone constantly having to do, 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 be on my phone all day. I, I, at some point, I want to get to the point where I can just sit back and collect checks, right? And, but interact with my team in a meaningful way and not just doing just because, right? I, I really, I used to do the, the birthday thing, right? But when you have a team um, as large as mine, that's hard to keep up to remember, oh, it's Stephanie's birthday. Let me go make a fly. So I stopped doing that too. And it's not that I don't want to acknowledge her birthday, but realistically speaking, if you have a hundred people frontline to you, is that something that you can continue doing? It's not, you know? So I, if I see it, I'll say happy birthday, but I kind of pulled myself away from going to look and see, okay, who who's direct to me that it's their birthday today so that I can create a flyer and post it in multiple places. Like, there's no time freedom in that. So something like Coffee Break is something that I'm willing to commit to, um, you know, to do. And here's the other blessing. This is a, a place for you to also coach, train, and develop. And so it's I'm developing leaders out of this group so there's been so many times um, where I could not host coffee break because I have a contractor here, or I have another appointment, something. And there are several people 
that I can count on that said, I got it, coach. They got my login. They got my password. Is there a, and they'll ask me, is there a particular subject you want me to talk about? No, whatever you want to talk about. And then, so now they get to, you know, to, to be the leader and, and they're learning from what we do on a daily basis how to lead their team and, and what information to share with them. And I, I'm just so thankful and grateful. I'm gonna get all teary eyed. It's the dust in here, y'all, it's the dust. But I'm just so thankful and grateful um, to everyone because there it's not just one person. There are, you know, any one of these people, if I needed them to step up and cover, you know, if their time, you know, their schedule allowed it, will step up and, and not feel afraid to leave coffee break. They know what to do. They, you know, they got the format and they know they can also make it their own for the day, you know, and they're not going to be judged or, Hey, that's not how Tanisha does it. No. And, and the rest of the team enjoys hearing from other people lead as well. Cause then they're like, wow, if she could do it, I could do it. You know, or wow, that person's a bronze builder and they're leading coffee break. If she could do it, I could do it. So it really um, helps develop you as a leader to, yes, it, it's duplicatable, but we don't always have to do everything that Planet Marketing is. Like we're operating within the guidelines of Planet Marketing, but coffee break is thinking outside the box. Because you can't get this anywhere else. It is, and like everyone said, it's very personable. It's, it's the people who participate in Coffee Break that makes Coffee Break special. And as we continue to get new business partners who join Coffee Break, it helps change the dynamic because you get to hear, you know, everybody's a little different and they bring a little flavor to it. Sometimes we get somebody on here and they're a little firecracker and they're like, oh, you know, they're, they're, they're saucy. I like them, you know? And then you might get that other person who, they come on and they're very timid and shy, but after a few, you know, sessions on coffee break, they start to open up and they're like, oh, okay, I can, I'm, I don't have to be shy. I can talk and I'm going to call on people too. And, and they all know that. So that's another thing. Um, cause I heard, you know, some of the questions you were asking about, you know, the DMO and being prepared for coffee break. Again, our role is to coach, train and develop. So no, I'm not going to let, let's say Felicia, who may have just joined Coffee Break and she never says anything. I'm not going to let her to continue to show up on Coffee Break and not participate. I'm going to call on you because I got to stretch you out of your comfort zone into your money zone. So they come prepared because they know they, there's no telling what I'm going to ask, you know, and I put, and I put them on the spot and they all have such a respect for me that they're not going to not do it. You know, they're like, they, everybody's here voluntarily because they want to win. They want to be stretched. They know I'm following the leadership. They know it's, it's people over profits. And so they're always putting their best foot forward. And just as much as everyone on here is very transparent and honest with me, I've gained the respect because I'm very transparent and uh, and um, honest with them. You know, when I fail at something, I'll be the first to say, all right, I, I made a big mistake. I was looking at it this way, you know, and so they're like, okay. And I'm like, and I always remind them, you have to show your leaders grace. None of us have done this before at this level. Even if you've done network marketing before, you've never had a team of as many people as you have now. And so we're all learning as we go. And I feel that as leaders, we have to be very transparent, um, especially as directors, because sometimes I think our, one of our biggest mistakes is that we make it seem easy. And if we don't share our failures and only share our successes, then the team is delusional. And then when that bad thing happens and they feel like they want to quit or that it's not normal, so we need to share our struggle and journey and obstacles that we as leaders face along the way because our role is to prepare all of them for leadership. And they got to know, we go through the same thing as you do. Okay, you upset that you have five three-way calls scheduled and none of them showed up? Been there, done that. 
It continues to happen. But if we don't share that with them, they think they're doing something wrong because we never share that our three-way calls don't show up. We never share that we tried to do the 15 day quick start and we only go went we only made it past part one because the person never showed up for the rest of it. I still get that, but I let them know that that happens to me too. So I think that that's important too. We as leaders, as directors need to share the struggles that we have as a way to develop them of what they can expect. So when it happens to them, they're not like, oh my God, this happened. I'm like, nope, Tanisha been through that. <laughs> I know, I know what to do because she told me this happened to her and this is how she handled it. So they're prepared. We got to prepare them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Every time we see each other, we're like so excited. I'm, I'm excited to see you every time because I'm always gleaning from you. Now, this isn't your whole team. Like, you know, we're both three star directors. This isn't your whole team. So, what happens to the rest of them? Great they're plugged question. into all the other calls and they're good? Great question. So one of the things that I, I um, share with everyone on here is now go back and, and share what you learned with your downline. Right? So it's, you got to you gotta focus on the people who show up. And there may be people who don't show up because of their schedule. But they, if, if the people that are on here right? Because they're all connected to people in my downline. If they go and share the information with their team, then now it's duplicatable. Now they can have, you know, let's say, let's say Felicia has, you know, a team of 10 people, right? She can now implement a weekly team meeting with her team and share a ton of information that she learned from coffee break with her team. And they're going to look at her and respect her as a leader because she's not sharing what she heard on basic training. She's not sharing what she heard on Mr. Moore's team Zoom. She's not, sh right? She's sharing unique information and now her team is going to respect her more because they're, they'll they see her as a leader of someone that can help them get to where they want to get to because they're getting information from her that they're not hearing anywhere else. So it's this group that will disseminate the information with their downline. So it's okay that, and then that's the other reason why I created my YouTube channel is because as I get information or, you know, topics that I feel people could benefit from, I just do a training on it and I'll do it here on coffee break. I'll say, okay, tomorrow I'm, we're going to do a training. I got a new training and then I'll record it. Everybody will know that it's going to be recorded. And then I do the training and then I do the Q&A, upload it to my YouTube channel and now everybody else has access to it because I'll share the link in the team group. So I like the fact that this is what it is. I would love to see it grow, um, continue to grow with more people and new people are, are plugging in, you know? And then there's people who are, who are gonna maybe fall off because life happens, schedules change but they still got the foundation of what it looks like. So now they can duplicate it on a schedule that's more, um, that works better for them. The last question that you and I will kind of talk off, off record. Last question. If someone just joined 24 hours versus someone who has been with you on the coffee break since 2021, is that how long you've had it in, in existence? 2021? 2020. 2020. So, the ones who are there from 2020 versus the one who just joined on yesterday and they connect to Coffee Break, do you feel like they can just come in right from where you are? Or is there a, a different start for them before they get to Coffee Break? You no, know what I'm saying? No, I, I feel that they can come in right from where they are. You know, we've had people on Coffee Break who just joined like the night before you know, and, and they jump on their, their sponsor is someone who participates in coffee. Like Tanya is a great example. She definitely shares coffee break with her new team members. So a lot of times her new team members are on coffee break. Do they all stay? No, but it's the fact that they are now aware that this is a resource that can help them. So we have to meet people where they are. And a lot of times, a brand new business partner, we got to remember they're still going through the 15 day quick start. 
they're still getting their feet wet. So coffee break might not be something that um, will work for them, you know, right when they start, but maybe, you know, three weeks in after they've completed, you know, their onboarding, they've been launched or whatever, and now they're, they're actually doing the activity, then they can come back on coffee break and be like, okay, yeah, I'm ready for, for where this is right now. But just them participating that one time so they could see, okay, this is what this is about. Just like Tyrese was saying, she had no clue what it was about, but she just, you know, plugged in and was like, oh, okay, this is a great resource for me. So I think for new business partners, it's great for them to jump on, kind of see what it's about, know that it's here, but then, you know, they may go back because they're still at, you know, 101, you know, and then they can come back. It's almost like when you read a book. Right, we all read your first year in network marketing, um, you know, when we first started. But if we go back and read it three years later, man, we get so much more out of it because it, we're meeting. It's meeting us where we are at that point. Well, thank you so very much. I can't say how much I appreciate this enough. Um, I would definitely um, every chance I get. Anyway, I appreciate. It. I love you. I love you for life. And um, thank you so much for being the leader who you are. Thank and thank you. all the ladies. I know, and it's amazing, the majority of them stayed on the entire time and you're way over your time, right? But I want to say thank you so much for letting me just um, barge into your world for a second. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for the welcome and, you know, just feeling right at home when I started talking in. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you everyone for the extra time. Uh, it is Wednesday. Don't forget basic training tonight at seven. Make sure your team shows up. When you show up, you learn more, but when your team shows up, you earn more, earn more. So see y'all tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye. Love y'all. Peace. Thank you. Have a good day.